Amid external and domestic headwinds, Singapore's manufacturing sector must press on with transformation efforts, says Minister of, of State Ko Pu Kun. And this comes as productivity has surged 30% at a homegrown precision engineering firm after it started using tech like advanced robotics in one of its production lines. Cheryl Lin reports. This could be the hardest worker at Fong's, an SME that designs and manufactures medical devices. The robot arm works 24-7, taking parts to various machines for processing. It's rivaled only by an autonomous vehicle that carries trays of components which weigh up to 90 kilograms. Having machines take over these repetitive tasks has cut manpower needs by half. With the automation of this one production line, the company says it's seen a 30% boost in productivity. But it hasn't always been like this. It decided to invest almost $7 million in smart technology only after assessing its digital maturity and gaps for improvement. Most of the SME, they are facing the same problems, shortage of manpower. But at the same time, if you want to do it, then our machines are old. So uh, then we heard about Industry 4.0 and uh, we learned, you know, how this emerging technology is going to uh, help us. Fong says it's the first SME in the industry to employ this type of technology to such a large extent. And the authorities say it's transformation like this that's essential amid a changing environment. There are technology challenges, there are geopolitical challenges and economic challenges. But this is not the time to slow down. In fact, this is the time to buckle up. We must press on for transformation efforts in order to weather the storm. And importantly, to seize new opportunities when the dark clouds cleared the horizon. That's important because last year, the sector accounted for over 20% of Singapore's GDP. Dr. Ko said workers must also upgrade along with technology. Indeed, Fong's workers have upskilled to handle new tasks. During conventional times, it's more for like, you know, make sure your equipment runs fine, make sure it doesn't break down. But currently now, it's a, it encompasses much more things. So we have robotic systems coming to play. We need to sort out what kind of data we're collecting, make sure that the information is uh, useful. The goal is to create a fully-fledged smart factory in three to five years. And Fong expects that move to boost revenue by 20% year on year.